good morning welcome back to my channel i am selfish trina welcome back all my returning subscribers and for those of you who are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'm gonna give y'all a second but um but yeah i'm on my way to the nail supply store i want to take you girls with me and show y'all some of the supplies that I use for my nail services and pretty much this vlog is going to be dedicated to the business of nails so after I come from the nail supply store I got some cleaning to do I need to clean up the shop and I have clients today but I will not be recording them while we're getting their services because the clients that I have today are older clients and y'all know how older women is they don't want to be put on the camera but in the future, I will do videos with my younger clients. You know, we'll be doing, you know, like shop talk. Let y'all in on, you know, some of the conversation that goes on in the nail shop. And it will be, you know, conversations that my clients are comfortable with sharing, of course. And yeah, so that's what today is going to consist of. So yeah, we're just gonna dedicate this vlog to the business of nails. <clears throat> I'm also gonna do a talk, but I probably won't do it today because I do want to get on the camera and, and talk to y'all about you know the nail business for those of you you know who may be aspiring to be a nail tech. I'm gonna you know talk with y'all a little bit about about the business in the industry, but I'll probably film that part tomorrow or another day because I didn't want to you know get dressed up get cute and look professional because right now I'm just this is my regular I'm not in my regular form like hey I don't be having time in the mornings to be doing hair and full face of makeup because I'm not good with timing so yeah so this is pretty much how I look on a regular day going to work, you know, pop my wig on, lashes, and go about my day. But uh, yeah, so I will be back in a minute because I need to pay attention to the road. Notice the prices has went up too. Cause these used to be three dollars, and now they didn't jump from three to five. Hmm. Buffers I need. Okay. This smells real good, y'all.
Then it's Detroit, right? No, Ann Arbor is different. Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor is different. Then I go to Detroit. Then I'm going Give to... Give me help. Then I'm, yeah. Then I'm, I need uh, this taper fine. Taper? Yeah. Yeah. This one? Yep. I found another one. Oh, there's teams. No, at least that long. She's so nice. She was, she was I need this 16 right here. She always I need to flatten too. She always tried to. Uh, Anything else? Yeah, I need a, um, I a 16. I always try to be honest. I never pushed never. anything. I never. The one in the, uh, over yeah, here. Red? Yeah. Red? No, yeah, the 16. This one, right here. Oh, right here. Yeah. 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 So this is just some of the stuff that I need. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You good? Yep. Hey y'all, I'm back from the nail supply store. I'm about to do a quick haul and show y'all all the items that I picked up from the nail supply store. So, yeah. So, we are about to do a nail supply haul. Oh. I'm about to show y'all all the stuff that I picked up from the nail store, so I'm going to, I'm gonna start with this bag. Move this stuff over. All right, so, let's get into it. So, I picked up some alcohol. We got some alcohol. We got some acetone. Cuticle oil, sugar scrub. So we got some special mix acrylic powder. And this is the one that I like to use when I'm doing my regular sets where I'm just doing, just covering most of the nail with gel polish or regular polish or whatever. That's my go-to. So this, that's pretty much, this one pretty much get used every day. So we have to keep this one on hand. We got some Young Nails Cover Pink. This is the powder that I like to use when I'm doing my Frenchies and my nail art because it covers up the nail tip so you don't see it in the background. So yes, this is the go-to, the Young Nails Cover Pink powder. And I also picked up the Young Nails Cherry Blossom. This is also another one that I like to use when I'm doing, you know, my French tips or, you know, nail art, nail designs. It's, this is actually the one, you probably can't see it that much, but this is the powder that I got on my nails, if the camera focus. And what else do we get? What else do we get? We got some pedicure slippers. I needed some more gloves for when I'm doing my pedicures. We got some pumice stones. Pumice. Probably, yeah, pumice stones. <laughs> and we got some disposable buffers. We got some more buffing blocks. I like to use the 80 grit. All right. That's all I oh, well, yeah. Um, I needed a new acrylic brush. And this one is in the size 16. 
So, yeah, I had to get a new acrylic brush. I needed another cuticle nipper. Is it focusing on this? Come on, camera. Some cuticle nippers, and I like to use the six. Oh, oh no. I specifically told him the 16 inch. And he gave me the 14. This, that just, that way just upset me. Anyway, whatever. I ain't gonna take that either. <sighs> then I needed to <clears throat> pick up some nail tips. Different sizes. We got different size nail tips. Just some, you know, the regular tips that we use for the regular set. So we just, you know. Also needed another carbide bit. This is a drill bit. And this is the taper, and I have it in fine. Okay, that's right here. That would be smart. Take it out. Package. <laughs> but yeah, this is the, um, why well, I don't feel like it's focusing on me and not the bit. Focus on the bit, not me. Well, it's not gonna focus, but y'all get the picture. But it's just a um, a drill bit. And yeah, picked up some files. These are the big block nail files, and these are in hundred. These are in yeah eighty grit. No, these are in eighty grit. Yeah. I like to use these ones when I'm doing longer nails, like the square shaped nails or the coffins and stilettos, whatnot. Just for the longer nails, this is just better. We got some sanding bands. And these are in the medium grit. I like to use these ones. These are the ones that I prefer to use. So, yeah. I got some more. These are manicure files. I use these for my manicures and my pedicures. And these are in the 80 grit. This is a pack of 50. Then I needed some more base coat for my pedicures. So this is the base coat that I like to use. And this, this is for just pedicures. I only like using this for pedicures only, not for the natural nails. And then this is the top coat that I use for the pedicures, if it will focus. All right, and then this is the super shiny top coat. And I use this for my clients that still wear regular polish. This is the top coat that I like to use for that. And yeah, that is it for my quick little small nail haul. I didn't get a lot of stuff today because as y'all know, Black Friday is coming up. So most of the nail companies, you know, the Young Nails, the Not Polished, the Valentinos, all of them is gonna be having a Black Friday sale. So it ain't all do mystery boxes too. I don't know if they're gonna do the mystery boxes again this year. Uh, but what I will say about those mystery boxes, I don't know. Cause I bought a couple, I'm not gonna say which company that I bought them from, but I was not impressed. I was not impressed at all. And I actually kind of felt like it was a waste of money to be honest. So I probably won't be doing any mystery boxes this year. I don't know. We'll see. I know particularly from this particular nail company, I definitely won't because I feel like it's gonna be the same stuff in the same box, which, yeah, no. But maybe I might try some other companies. I don't know, because when they do the little hauls or whatever on YouTube and they pull that stuff up, I'll just be like, yeah, nah, waste of money. So y'all need to get it together, nail companies, because shoot, you know, we spend a lot of money with y'all. You know, give us some good stuff. We want the good stuff. We don't want the stuff that's not selling throughout the year. And I feel like, you know, that's what they putting in the boxes. Like, the stuff that ain't selling. Like, we don't want the stuff that ain't selling. Okay? That's why we're not buying it. Because <laughs> we don't want it. But, yeah, so I am going to wait for the Black Friday sale. 
and stock up on a lot of stuff because it is a lot of stuff that I want to stock up on a lot of more new stuff that I need like I want to get a new um, gel lamp which I know I, I could save some money at Black Friday time on that so I'm waiting and then um, yeah Val Valentino is my the one I'm looking for like I'm waiting on the Valentino sale because I did get some stuff last Black Friday and I yeah mm-hmm I got some good stuff so I'm waiting on Valentino okay um who else what other companies do I want to get some stuff from mm. that's probably the only one for real to be quite honest that I might just be buying from this year I may get some stuff from Young Nails depending on what kind of sale they get and um Maybe some colored acrylics from Not Polish because they do have like a lot of like pretty colors. Like when it comes to the color, the colored powder, I will say Not Polish kind of pretty much got that on lock. So if you are an aspiring nail tech or if you are a nail tech, definitely you definitely want to check out Valentino Sale, Not Polish, Young Nails. Um, Kiera Sky, that's another one. Uh, who else? Those are like the ones that I can like think of off the top of my head. But yeah, I was trying to look over here at this nail stuff to see. Cause I really, I really actually don't need a lot of stuff cause I'm pretty much am stocked up for the most part. So, but I definitely want to get another drill. I mean, not another drill, but another gel lamp, which I probably will go with the Kiera Sky one because I had that one before, and I really like that lamp. And, yeah, I could probably get another drill. I don't really need another nail drill, but that may. It depends. I'm just trying to see what sales they're going to have, like, if it's a good deal. Like, if it's not a good deal, I'm not getting it. But, um, yeah. Oh, but let me tell y'all. So, I was in a nail store, and... I wish I wouldn't have turned my camera off because I wish I would have caught that. But I'm looking at the screen because my price, like, it, like, jumped. It was, I don't know, for the stuff that he had was had rung up already, I just kind of felt like it was a lot. And so I'm like, let me turn this camera off because I need to pay attention. And so I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, okay, that's about right. That's about right. That's about right. Then we got down to an item that was priced at $12. And I'm like, pedicure tablets. I don't got no pedicure tablets up there. So I'm like, what is that ringing up for $12? And so it was this, which is the sugar scrub. So this rang up for $12. And I'm like, that's not $12. Y'all see the price? $9.50. Like, no. We, that's what we not gonna do so you know and I'm pretty much one of them people that when I go shopping I'm I don't care where I'm at I'm paying attention to the screen because stuff do be bringing up different now if it bring up less than what the tags say I'm not gonna say nothing but if it brings up more than what that tag or that price or should be oh no <laughs> not today we not about to play with my coins okay it's one thing I don't play about is my money. I'm good with numbers and I'm real good at looking at something and knowing that, no, that price ain't right. Something a little off. So make sure y'all paying attention when y'all, you know, at the checkout and y'all paying for y'all stuff. I don't care where y'all at, the grocery store, the clothing store, wherever. Pay attention because... You know, you might get overcharged for something that, you know, you know you weren't supposed to get overcharged for. Like, we got to save our coins. And I'm not giving nobody no extra $3 that <laughs> I don't have to. Okay? So, that's just, you know, some advice for y'all. But, um, yeah. I am actually done with this haul and I'm about to clean up the salon. So, I'll see y'all in a minute.